Hey Capricorn, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This is going to be your um, weekly reading. Uh, it's going to be a 12-day reading, the 1st of September to the 12th, 2020. What do we need to know for anyone with Capricorn placements, please, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What's important here for the upcoming week, 12 days, first 12 days of September 2020? Behind the mask. Okay. Somebody's not really saying something. What else? Do, okay, we got, oh, too many. Just one or two, please. Okay, there it is. Deception. There's something going on you're not aware of, but happy success is at the bottom. So something is going on that you don't know about. This could be a work situation. It could be any situation, really. Somebody's, um, there's some kind of gossip, deception, something going on, but this is your conclusion. All right, you're going to have happy success here in whatever it is. Um, it might be that you uncover this. I'm going to get more information. In fact, I'm going to get one more. One more. Is this? Yeah, this was Quantum Oracle. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Can you tell us more about Behind the Mask and Deception? Oops, too many. Just one or two. Behind the Mask and Deception. What else do we need to know about this, please, for the Capricorn reading? Present power. All right, so um, for some of you, you're the one being quiet and keeping a, a secret. <clears throat> if not you, it's someone around you. All right, let's get more information, please. We're going to also use the um, Energy Oracle. All right, what else do we need to know about this situation, please? Capricorn reading the world. Okay, you're about to end a cycle. In a good way. This is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. The Temple Path, 6th Chakra Archangel Mike, or, uh, Metatron, I'm sorry, and 4th Chakra Archangel Raphael. Okay, so heart chakra, um, crown chakra with the sixth chakra, um, heart chakra with the fourth chakra. All right, so I, I almost feel like with the world and like you're on the right path with temple path, this cycle is supposed to end. It's this is the world and temple path. You're on the right track. This cycle is supposed to end. And, you know, um, with behind the mask deception and present power, I still, I still feel like I want more information. I'm going to use one of these. Could I get more information on behind the mask deception and present power? What is this about? I almost feel like you have something you're keeping quiet. Capricorn. Appreciation. Wow. So... This is going to sound crazy, but I almost feel like something's being kept from you or you're keeping something from someone else, but it's for the highest good. Like it's for a good reason. Um, with four, fourth chakra and sixth chakra showing up here, it's like you're needing to tap into your intuition and your heart chakra here through this um, closure of this cycle. And we don't mean, oh, it's over. No, we just mean this cycle is about, it, it needs to end and it's divinely guided. Um, this is closing, like whatever this is, it's happy though. It's like something's been kept quiet on the down low. You're going to appreciate this because there's something really good coming out of it. If not for you, you're doing this for another person. All right, let's get, um, Let's get the after tarot and find out what comes out of this. In fact, I still feel like I want more info. So I feel like what I'm going to do is grab the angel cards out for you as well. Because this is all I've been doing for everybody. But I still feel like I want a little more. All right, angels, what do you want to tell anyone who resonates with this Capricorn reading? What do you want them to know about this reading? 
tell us more about uh, behind the mask and present power with deception. It's like if someone's being deceptive, um, somebody already knows about it. And this is a really good thing. Tell us more about this. Behind the mask, present power with deception. Take action. All right. Wow. So you're going to get an opportunity to take action in something. What, what else do we need to know besides... Wow, look at how they fell. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're a little bit in camera. They're like a teepee. They fell on the desk just like this. Like Both of them were like standing up like this. I can't even make them do it. That's crazy. All right. So taking action is up to you and remain positive. So there is something like, I almost feel like you're going to appreciate this, whatever it is, something behind the mask and deception. I feel like you're being given information intuitively. You're being given information intuitively from Archangel Metatron here, who's sending you intuitive information, and they want you to act on it. And they want you to stay positive because you're going to appreciate this um, information you've gotten because it's going to lead you to a happy success here. All right, let's get, um, oh, let's get a few more angel cards. So tell us more about Temple Path and World. Because this is meant to happen. Yeah, choose a new direction. So you're being told to change up your situation in some way by taking action on something you're intuitively finding out about. Give me one more um, on the world and temple path. Oops, that's way too many. The world and temple path, please. So you're being told to change directions because you're supposed to be on a specific path here. And that's why you're being given the in intuitive information. Look for a sign. So they're saying choose a new direction. Look for a sign. We're giving you intuition. We're giving you intuitive messages. Um, six chakra, Archangel Metatron. Give me one on Archangel Metatron, please. Here, six chakra. I feel like you have to change directions because, yep, be assertive. Okay, you need to look for a sign, change directions, and be assertive. They want you to take action on something because there's some, they're giving you present power. They're giving you this. It has to do with something being um, hidden from you, I feel. Um, appreciation, happy success. Tell me also about fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is heart chakra. Not the right time. Give me one more. Okay, no time for love. Don't get into a love relationship if you're not in one. All right, give me um, some more on Archangel, uh, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael here. Heart chakra. What else do we need to know? Why is this coming through, please? Forgiveness and listen to your intuition. Wow. All right. So <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like they're asking you, you've got forgiveness and intuition. Listen to your intuition. Well, we already know Archangel Metatron is saying, please listen to your intuition. I'm sending you the information. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael says not the right time for the sh heart chakra thing, but it's coming. Be assertive with the um, crown chakra and listening to your intuition because it's all over the place here. They want you to forgive something. I'm going to be straight up with you. They want you to forgive something that was deceptive. And I almost feel like If you can forgive whatever this was, you're going to get to end a cycle. And um, this is huge. This is graduating a big karmic cycle, obviously. If there was deception and uh, somebody wearing a mask, they're saying, please forgive this because we want you to heal your heart chakra, number one. 
Number two, we want you to complete your cycle, which you're meant to do. That's your temple path. You're supposed to complete this cycle. And number three, it's going to help you open this heart chakra up. Like you're going to be very happy and appreciate the guidance from the angels in doing this. I know I'm going to get hate mail for this. Okay, so don't bother. <laughs> don't bother. I get it. If you don't want to forgive and you don't want to listen to this reading and it's not for you, it's not for you. Okay, but. For those of you that do want to listen to the spiritual advice given for this Capricorn reading, you're being told that if you can take action, remain positive, you will appreciate the happy success you're going to get. They want you to choose a different direction than you've been on and look for a sign because you were meant to close out a cycle here. But in closing out that cycle, it's going to take you to be assertive, about listening to your intuition and giving some kind of forgiveness that your intuition is telling you to do so that you can have love in your life again. And not with the same person. It has more to do with you allowing that heart chakra to open up. This is going to be a very, very positive thing for someone to do. Whether you do it or not, I have no, like, I have no stake in this. So don't start beating me up verbally or I'm just going to delete, delete, delete your messages for those few people that like to act well like idiots um, and reach out to me as if I have a personal claim in you forgiving someone from the past because I, it doesn't matter to me. You do what you want to do. For those of you who are uh, light workers that have gone through some kind of pain in the past and are trying to do everything you can do to be on the right path and to um, be in your highest self. You're being asked to forgive something from the past so that you can open up your heart chakra and have a very happy success in love again. It's not happening now because you haven't done the, this part of it yet. You might have done a ton of work but this is the one thing that'll help you close out an old cycle and put you right on the path you're supposed to be on. This doesn't mean you're getting back together with anyone who hurt you, especially if it's like a group, which I see here. It's more about forgiving a person or people for doing you dirty in the past internally. It's all internal. It has nothing to do with you calling them up and say, hey, thanks for screwing me over. No, it's not about that. It's more of a personal thing that you're going to do or that you're being asked to do to put you on your right path, close out an old cycle, and put you right in line for a successful new relationship, friendships, whatever this is. It, it's going to allow you to feel happy, joyful, and loving again. Um, it's not the right time yet because, well, you, you've got a step that you haven't done yet. So if you're thinking, why isn't this happening for me? I've done all this internal work. There's one last thing that they'd like you to do. Totally up to you. I have no, I can't stress this enough. I have no stake in this. I'm not working for your enemies. I don't even know them. Okay, so don't shoot the messenger here. Um, if you're, uh, if you want to be in the highest vibration you can be in, if you want to be in this happy, successful, loving energy, this is the one thing you're being asked to do. This message is not for all of you. I can't stress that enough. It's only for the people that are going to hear it and say, I know what this is. This is for me and spirits, right? Because this is all guidance coming out in your cards. I have no stake in this for the you know, 10th time here. Doesn't matter to me whether you want to forgive the past or you want to live in hatred for the rest of your life or I don't, it doesn't matter to me. It's absolutely up to you. I'm giving you the advice that came out in the cards. It's right here. Listen to your intuition. We're asking you to be assertive and forgive. All right. It's all right here. I, you saw me shuffle the cards. You saw that these got sent to me. I didn't physically pull them out individually for you. All right. Again, listen to your intuition. Six chakra Archangel Metatron. It's all right here. Listen to your intuition. Forgiveness. Be assertive. 
absolutely up to you. Absolutely. I have no stake in this. Okay. I can't stress this enough because I have people who literally, I think might be a little off. They will reach out to me as if I am working for the enemy. 